So today I want to discuss something very, very um, important about ALR plasty. And what happened is that, you know, when we were getting trained in the textbooks, they told us that if you draw a line from the medial canthal straight down, your nostrils need to be in between that. <sighs> I think they were thinking of only the Northern Irish nose. However, this myth took off. And ever since then, since it got into, you know, social media, internet, everywhere, it's become a headache because patients, you know, who, who don't understand that, let alone many surgeons don't understand that, so what do you expect? They think that right from the medial canthal down, right here, oh, it needs to be in. From here down, it needs to be in. Nobody's gonna be able to breathe, for God's sake. So please stop, <laughs> please stop looking into that and thinking like, oh, I need to draw a line from here to here and bring it, no, no, nonsense. I really hope and wish that, you know, all the respectful surgeons who write these books can address this issue in future so the next generation of residents doesn't get confused like I was and I was like trying to get them all between, you know, the medial cancers. No, 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 no. The wrong rule of medial cancers for alarplasty. No, don't. Please, just look at the whole face, look at the ethnic background, and then figure out like, does it need to be narrowed and how much? That's very critical. So the rule of medial canthus width should match the alar plasty or the nostril width is wrong in my humble opinion. I am not the master, please, by all means, I'm a humble little surgeon. There are a lot of masters of rhinoplasty all over the world. So um, in my humble opinion, that's what I feel. But anyway, all I'm doing is just trying to help my patients and hopefully they will get some benefit from it. So thank you.